Hello React Native Developers, what is going on? William here recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. While researching the next episode of Can It Be Done in React Native, I came across a very interesting 3D animation. So can we fold this playing card in three dimensions using React Native in five minutes or less? Step one is gonna be to duplicate the view and overlay each view on top of each other. Step two, we are going to rotate one view from zero degrees to 90 degrees on the X axis and the, the other one from zero to minus 90 degrees on the X axis. Third step, we're going to compute the translate Z for this transformation using some simple trigonometry. And finally, since React Native doesn't provide support for translate Z, we are going to convert the translate Z transformation into a scale transformation. Can we do it in five minutes or less? Let's have a look. Guys, before we get started with the coding, let's write down our transformations on paper. Here I've made this small sketch, which shows the two overlaid cards uh, viewed from profile. They rotate on the x-axis from alpha or minus alpha. H is half of the eight of one card. P is the perspective. And X is the value we're going to need to calculate uh, to compute the translate Z. Uh, transform. So let's write down the transformations. The first transformation is going to be to apply, apply perspective to the scene and then we rotate on the x-axis. So this is how it looks like if we apply these two transformations but actually this is how we want the scene to look like. So we want always the two edges of the cards to intersect perfectly with the perspective. So we need to translate by minus X on the Z axis. So translate Z is minus X. So now we need to calculate two things, the X value and how to convert translate Z into a scale transformation. So for X, we can do it some using some basic trigonometry because we know that sinus alpha equals X divided by H and X equals H times sinus alpha. And to convert translate Z into scale, scale equals perspective divided by perspective minus X, which is H times sinus alpha. And since we translate by minus X, I'm going to add minus H here. And here we alpha can be alpha or minus alpha, depending on the view, but we're going to use the absolute value of alpha. So this is going to be actually our third transformation. Okay, now we can get started. So here I created a very basic project using Expo init. I'm using a pin gesture handler from React Native Gesture Handler to drive the animation. Of course, you could use anything else, scroll view, any animation value. And then I have a card container which contains the two cards which are overlaid on top of each other using an absolute position field. And we have the on top property which we use to know if we, if we rotate from zero to 90 degrees or zero to minus 90 degrees. So scale, which is the animation value that drives the animation and front, which is the image which you see here on the right hand side. So we defined three transformations. We need to apply perspective, rotate X and translate Z. Um, let's uh, simply add them to the to this view. So I'm just gonna use absolute fill object here. So we have three transformations. The first one is the perspective, which I can define here. I'm gonna use maybe 400 for now. We can change it. Maybe I could use something which is relative to the uh, card width, which uh, card eight, because we know this one is computed um, relatively to the width of the device. 
but here we could set any values. So that's the first transformation. The second transformation is rotate X. So here we're going to use interpolate on the scale animation value, input range. We can put anything here, but I'm going to use 0 0.5 to 1. Output range goes from 90 degrees to 0. We need extrapolate here. So extrapolate is extrapolate clamp. And if we are not on top, so if is on top true, we rotate to minus 90 degrees. If not, we rotate to my, um, minus 90 degrees. And here, since we use a, a reanimated, I'm going to need to concat the unit of the rotation. So rotate x. Let's have a look. OK, so it looks pretty good already. Now we need to apply the Z transformation. So we wrote down the formula here. So we have x equals minus h, which is uh, h, which is card 8 divided by 2 times. So here we need to use multiply from reanimated. So times sinus absolute value of alpha, which is rotate x. Perfect. We need to convert this function. So here we have these values as degrees, so we need to convert them into radiant. And so we have scale equals translate z of x, I mean this one is actually minus x, and here we have two functions, two regent and translate z. Oh, we need to pass also the perspective as parameter, so which are defined in animation helpers. Animation helpers is all the functions which I always use and reuse when using reanimated, so to interpolate colors, to do spring, run timing animations, or to convert uh, animation values from uh, regents to degrees, uh, degrees to regent, or here to transform uh, uh, translate uh, the transformation into a scale transformation. So let's have a look. All right, and now it looks pixel perfect. The cherry on top of the cake would be to add some mask to simulate the shadow that each card has on top of each other. So here we can add an animated view again, which is going to be black with some opacity. So we overlay it on top of the card. So I'm going to use, again, an absolute position fill. And we're going to use some, so the background color is black. And we're going to use some opacity value which we can define here. So opacity, we could go from one is opacity is one at uh, 0 0.5, let's say minus 0 0.6. Oops, that would be uh, zero actually, sorry about that. And maybe should we use 0 0.4? Let's have a look. So here opacity is zero and it gets a bit darker as we fold the card. Maybe I can make it a tiny bit darker. Here it is. 
We could even uh, push this realism effect by using a different opacity if we're on top or not. And maybe by animated here uh, by using a linear gradient because on the uh, bottom edge of the card, of the fold, uh, it's going to be much darker than uh, on the outer edge. So we could use also a linear gradient instead. But that looks already pretty good. Guys, if you enjoy these videos, you can buy me a coffee and get access to exclusive content before it's released to the public. And if you have a new React Native project coming up, check out React Native Elements. Links down below. React Native Elements is a premium React Native pro uh, starter kit for React Native. It's 80% of what you need when starting a new React Native project. So I hope you will check it out. So talk to you soon. And in the meantime, happy hacking.